it's all about the toe strength. What's going on guys? My name is the Wolf Race and welcome back to another episode of Insane Siege Creations. Today I'm going to be showing you guys some more of the most awesome creations and maps that I have found on the Steam Workshop. And to start off with, this map is called Dwarf Cave and this creation is called Single Key Walker. Now it's actually called the AW122 Single Key Walker, but that's just too much for me to remember there. So yeah, I, I just called it Single Key Walker. And as you guys see, it just kind of hops along here, making its way downtown, walking fast. Oh, and something I didn't even realize is you don't have to even hold the key. All you have to do is hold it for like a second to get it to start and then it just hops along like this. So yeah, good job, buddy. The objective for this map is to kill all the people inside and kill the king because apparently he took over the cave or something like that i'm not entirely sure but sure I, I can kill some things bust through this wall real quick no big deal i'm not sure if we'll actually be able to make it over that though because yeah this thing can't really hop very far well uh let me figure something out so we go through this wall yes and then there's a cave inside that we also had to break through I, I can just i can just fly right through it no big deal then it looks like here you go upwards let's go and try to go up here and yep here's all the people up here so uh yeah this is this is gonna be confusing and hard but uh, I'll try. Now, since this guy can't jump over all that debris over there, I just went ahead and spawned him up over here, and we'll just go ahead and test this out. So let's go ahead and spawn this in, and hopefully it doesn't just immediately fling us into the air. Nope, we're good. Oh, I'm actually seeing now that there's a way to hover this guy, so let's go and try that out. This is control, and yeah, that just kind of makes it hover, sort of. I mean, not really, though. No matter, though, all you do is press the down arrow, and he starts walking along like this. There you go, buddy. I think you can actually press the up arrow as well, and that makes him jump a little bit more. Oh, and all those people are falling down and dying. Uh, sure. If I can actually get my feet to cooperate here, we could try to make our way over to this thing. Oh, it's actually taking us up as well, and we're falling off. Really? Did that have to happen? Okay, fine. This time we'll just go ahead and spawn this guy right on the platform, and this should work out a little bit better for us, and hopefully all the people won't just fall off as well. Alright, here we go. Let's go ahead and press the down arrow, get this guy to start walking, and uh, hopefully we can actually take these guys out, because I don't think we have any low-range weapons. Aw, oh, dang it, really? I just fell off the freaking edge. Come on now. You know what? Screw that platform. I don't even need it. We can just spawn ourselves right up here. Yeah, how do you like that game? Oh, oh gosh, okay. Um, did I win? Because of that explosion? Oh, these guys are still coming at me. Let's go and try to walk into them. There we go. Is that actually going to crush them up? Uh, kind of. I mean, I knocked them over and then they end up exploding on the ground. I'm not sure what that's all about, but sure. Oh, I'm seeing now that the map is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was. It goes around this little corner here as well, and I believe the king is supposed to be back there. That's the guy that we're supposed to kill, but... Yeah, this thing isn't isn't very mobile, so let me go and find a new creation. We'll just go ahead and try this guy. This is the Supersonic Bionic Yak. Now, I believe it's just supposed to be a yak that goes supersonic speed. I, I like yaks that go really fast, and they just blew me up. Really? I mean, come on now, that was just rude. Alright, so we had to start moving immediately so that they can't hit us. Let's go and try to make our way over here. Oh, this thing does not control very well at all. Uh, I'm keeping it up here, though. Don't even worry about it. And we just fell off. Okay, today is just not my day in Besiege. Anyway, left shift is for the supersonic speed, so let's go and try that out. Whoa! Oh gosh, okay. Yep, that's... That's pretty much what I need, just a lot of destruction and chaos. That's that's why I love in this game. It just seems like we're not actually able to control this thing once it gets moving. It's kind of weird. It's like it's on ice skates or something. I'm not entirely sure, but let's go and run into these guys real quick. Get out of my way. I'm a freaking yak. Oh, we fell over, so that is a little bit of a problem. We have to be careful not to explode, but I think he will ride himself if we just kind of wiggle a little bit. There we go. Something like that. Oh gosh, it's starting to throw things at me, so I just hit the supersonic button, and that happened. Oh god. Okay. This this thing's gonna be fun. Right off the bat, let's go and use the supersonic button and try to- Oh, okay. Well, I was gonna try to hit the tower right there, but that didn't work. Let's go and try that again. It just really seems weird. Whenever you hit the supersonic button, it wants to go to the left, and I, I don't know why that is. Let's go and try this again. Supersonic, and yeah, right to the left. That's really weird. Well, those guys back there are being mean, so I'm just gonna go ahead and skip past that and go to the king, because that's the guy we're supposed to kill. And I think with the bomb, we should be able to do it with this thing, so well, let's try. Another thing I've noticed is that it's really top-heavy as well. Like, every time that you start off, it just kind of wants to fall over to the side. Also, that one back foot broke. Is that is that normal? Uh, yeah, you guys see it, like, breaks immediately. Uh, invincibility mode is on, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we have invincibility mode, so that's kind of weird that it breaks, but... I guess we'll just work with it. Oh gosh, I hear people throwing things at me, so let's go ahead and keep moving so that we don't get hit. Oh gosh, we're falling off the edge. Really? Every time, every time I try to do anything, it just, it just blows up. Alright, this game's just really starting to get under my skin. Every time I spawn this thing off, it either falls over or explodes, and, you know, I, I can't have that kind of thing happening in my life, so we're just gonna go immediately into this tower here, and we'll, we'll just see what happens. With the way this thing pulls left, I'm hoping that it'll just hit the tower as soon as we hit the supersonic button, so here we go. Oh gosh, okay, well, that didn't exactly work, but we're, we're kind of flying around. Oh, 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 until that happened. Yeah. I don't know why I'm a besieged as being so weird today. Sometimes I'll get through an entire video and things just go perfectly and nothing goes wrong, but then other times things just don't work correctly. Like they should work a certain way, but they just don't, and it, it frustrates me. So we're, we're just playing through it. We're just going to power through it together. You know, you're here with me. I appreciate that. Whoa, holy crap. What was that giant ball? I don't even know, but it scared me. So that's why I hit the supersonic button. I imagine, uh, yeah, it just pretty much flies at you as soon as you spawn in here. Uh, is it going to miss me? Yeah, there we go. Take that giant ball. Well, let's go and try the supersonic button and see if we can hit the tower over here. Yeah, okay, you know what? No, no. You know what, game? I I'm gonna I'm gonna teach you a little something about doing things that I, I don't want you to do. How dare this game try to make me look bad in front of everyone? This should work out a little bit better this time if we just hit the supersonic button. That was the wrong button. That was the wrong button as well. There we go. 
Uh, yeah, this is... Okay, that doesn't work either. Well, you know what, Dwarf King? Y you get to live today, but... Hey, just consider your lucky day. I've been trying to beat this level for 20 minutes now. I think it's just too much for me. So let's go ahead and move on to our next map and our next creation. This map is called the Jungle Islands and this creation is called the Megas XLR. I believe this is supposed to be from some kind of cartoon, but I've never seen it before. But yeah, it definitely looks pretty cool. The head is a car. So I mean, what more could you ever want? Oh, there's a Vulu girl inside there too. Nice. When I spawned up here, I thought the map wasn't going to be all that big, but then I realized that there's a whole bunch of stuff all the way over here as well. Uh, some kind of bridge that goes in between two rocky island things. Always nice, and plus some stuff behind this guy's wall. Let's go check that out real quick. Got a couple of dudes back here doing their things, blowing their horns. Beautiful. This map is a little bit laggy though because of how big it is. I mean, there's even stuff all the way over here. So yeah, it's a little bit laggy. Sorry about that. But I just want to check this out for you guys because it is insanely cool and very detailed. And I, I just think it's absolutely incredible. Let's go and check out this little island over here as well. Just a couple of houses there. Nice little bridge to walk across. Go over to your neighbors. Hey neighbors, how you doing? Oh, there's a cemetery over here. Sad. There's all kinds of different controls for this guy, so let's go ahead and start getting into them. Air keys up and down are for leaning forward and backwards. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, but sure. Let's go ahead and just press forward, and uh, we'll just see what happens to this guy. Uh, yeah, it, it's kind of leaning forward. You guys see that? Kind of doing a little bit of Michael Jackson there. Not bad. Not sure what use that would actually have, but it also says that you can drive the car on the top by detaching it. Oh, that, that's kind of cool, but how would you get off of there without hurting yourself? Not sure about that. Let's go ahead and slowly fall into the abyss as we figure out all these other controls. Uh, there's ways to move the arms and legs, and there's also some cannons. Let's go and try those out. Uh, this is number pad one and two, or one and three actually. Uh, number lock. There we go. Uh, this is one. There's a couple of cannons coming out the arms down there. Beautiful. And I believe three will be the other side. Yep. No big deal. There's also supposed to be a machine gun on the left side, so let's go and try that out. Uh, this is the slash key. Uh, I don't actually see them shooting out, but okay, yeah, you guys can kind of see it there. But yeah, it's just like a crossbow. Not bad. Look at this guy just hanging here. It's all about the toe strength. You got this, buddy. I believe in you. You're, you're kind of hanging on. Also, the game audio just quit. Oh, oh, hang on. I know what it is. We'll come back in just a moment. So there's something with the Bluetooth headphones. You know, it, it's worth the convenience, though. Oh, there it is. Okay, now you guys have the sound back. This guy's just kind of hanging down here, so let's go and actually restart this. Yeah, that was a little bit of a epically slow fall. Good job for you, buddy. I, I'm proud of you doing good things for us, I suppose. Uh, I don't know where I was going with that, so don't ask. Also, I don't know why that Yak immediately does that every single time. He just runs into the blocks and they all go flying into the air. Oh, and I forgot to move the sword around as well, so let's go and do a little bit of that. This is 6 and 9 on the number pad, so this is 6 right now. I hardly see any movement. Oh, because I was pressing the wrong numbers, that makes sense. Okay, this is 7 and 4 for the right arm. There we go. Okay, yeah, now you can actually swing around the fire sword, and obviously that's freaking awesome. I mean, look at that. Let's also figure out the way to detach this thing. I'm looking down the controls right now. It's all the way at the bottom. Uh, B to, de to detach the car. Let's go and do that real quick. Okay, I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen, but let's go and focus onto the car. I believe we can move this around with the arrow keys. Let's go and try to do this. Yep, that definitely works. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to land down here though. Now it looks like it's falling really slow, but that's because it is a slow motion. But I imagine it's going to break as soon as it hits that right there. Oh wait, no, I forgot we have invincibility mode. Nice, there we go. Uh, except there's not really a place to drive around up here, but you can definitely detach the car and move it around. That's cool. You can also open and close the front of his chest with 8 and 5. Let's go and try that out. This is 8. Whoop, there you go. And uh, there's a bunch of rockets inside. Nice, let's go and figure out how to fire those. It says these are Tango rockets. It shoots three at a time. Let's go and try this out. This is one. Whoop, there we go. Beautiful. Let's go and actually see if that hits anything. Uh, nope, there's just nothing over there. But, you know, they're, they're definitely rockets. Let's go and shoot the other ones as well. There we go. Go and watch as those explode over there. I think they're pretty much just fireworks. Yeah, and that looks pretty nice. There's a flamethrower over here. Let's go and try that out a little bit. That comes right out of the chest as well. There's also a steam cannon, which is the number pad uh, enter key. Let's go and try that out. Yep, definitely steam. Oh, and that actually blows him all the way back, so be careful about that, because now he's falling over. The last key is the self-destruction key, which is just delete. Let's go and press that, and uh, see what happens. Um, nothing happened. Let's go and try that again. I have a feeling you were supposed to actually keep the rockets inside to be able to do that, so let's go and hold the delete key, and uh, we'll just hope for the best. Yeah, I definitely see some fire going on. A little bit of fire in the torso region. That's, that's not normal. Whoop, there it goes, I think. Here's some kind of something happening. Yep, there we go. Beautiful. Nice, that, that was a kind of a self-destruction, even though it's totally still just standing here just fine. Well, not standing here, but flying through the air, but it actually didn't break apart. Oh, because invisibility mode. I always forget about that. But when I first spawned this guy onto this map, it immediately just broke all apart, so that's why I thought we needed invincibility mode. So, yeah, that, that's why I had it on. But, yeah, this thing's definitely really cool. I suggest you guys check it out for yourself. All the links to all the creations that I showed in today's video will be down below in the description if you guys want to check them out for yourself. But yeah, I think that will be it for today's video of Siege, guys. I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to join the pack, because we're pretty dang cool around here. If you guys ask me, and I'm sorry I had so much trouble on that first map, it just happens sometimes with these physics games, you know, it just sometimes it doesn't work the exact way it should, and that just, it frustrates me, but 
you know, we got through it together. Good job, us. This thing definitely made up for it, so I suggest you guys go check this out for yourself because it's definitely really cool and the creator deserves a little bit more exposure, all that great stuff. Because, I mean, just look how freaking awesome this thing is. I mean, it's a freaking robot that has a car as a head. What more could you ever want? And make sure you guys share the video as well because I'm a small YouTuber. It helps me out to grow and I really do appreciate it. Thank you. And finally, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and liking. I hope you have a great day. Follow your dreams and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care and stay awesome, guys.